What's up, guys? I'm Malik. And I'm Michael. And welcome back. This is episode one, six, six, three, four, five, six. Episode six of the first room challenge, and we're gonna be doing Doris. Now, fan favorite. Fan favorite Doris. What is this called? In the other one, the giant. The giant. The giant. The G. Doris or the giant. So you know, pack a punch in the middle. There's a wall in the back. Make sure you buckle up, baby girl, because there are zombies in the heartland. It says right there. Giant is rising. Yeah. Face the might of the Nazi zombies in their heart. We got you. We got you. Oh, no need to explain. Press the button. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Near Breslau. Germany. 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 Do something about the power. Do something about the power. <laughs> Ouch. I think I can commit suicide by Wait, jumping Wait, is that footprint there still there? there at the stairs? What footprint? Go down the stairs. Sit down the stairs. I want to... <gasps> Go down the stairs. Maybe not those stairs. Turn around. No, not those stairs. Not those ones. There's what are you talking about? I think it is this map. It might not be this map. It might be... What's the other map? It might be Kino. Fuck you. Right, you go down, you turn around, and there's a bloody... Dog talk right? Yeah. Um, no? Okay. It, it never doesn't even really go. It was from the... It's like... I, is it an Easter egg? I guess would it be? Not like the Easter eggs, but it's an Easter egg. I guess it, it, it's a part of like where it explains the lore of zombies, like you know, with the little girl and then Richtofen mm -hmm. and all that. Where it explains about that because it's from her dog, because the dogs are her dog or, or puppies from her dog. Mm -hmm. Fluffy, fluffy. <laughs> Are you sure it's not fluffy? It's fluffy. Fluffy's close. I mean. It might be the might, might be the accent. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. But it's the it's the it's the blood fall print game. You know what we're saying. It's like the dogs from I Am Legend. <laughs> Samantha. Bro, I saw this video. It was a big ass crocodile with a dog in his mouth. I almost cried. What the hell do you be watching? I almost cried. What are you doing? Like, the dog was already dead, and it was just a big ass. It was like swimming underneath this little bridge thing. Uh huh. And it just had the dog in its mouth, and I was like, oh no. That was somebody's pet. It had a collar on it anyway. I almost tried. Like, I don't think you understand how much I like dogs. Like, I, I understand. If it was between, like. Don't say it. <laughs> like, I, I love know where you. where we're going. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Like, I do. You've been my friend for a while. But if it was, like, between you and Ruby. I'd be like, I'm like, ah, Wait! You've known me longer than that dog! <laughs> But she's so innocent. And you're heavy. I'm not that heavy, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, you're like, what, a buck fifty? She's like eight pounds. Our friendship means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, in, uh, in psychology class in ninth grade, mm -hmm. um, I know. I've been there too. Uh, they were like, it was a thing, and I was like, oh yeah, like, what would you choose? Yeah. It's like, oh, you have, like, oh, it's like, yeah, you have a 60% chance. It's like, oh, it's like your mom, a homeless person, or your dog. It's like, oh, you have, like... I think it was more deep than that. I think it was, like, your brother, your mom. No, it was it was your mom, a homeless person, and your dog. Really? I remember it being more deep than this. No, that's the one that we had. And, I mean, it was, like, different. It was, like, different scenarios. It was, like, oh. Like, it was different. It was, like, oh, like, which one is, is like, too much? It was, like, okay... You know, a car's like on a cliff and it's teetering or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, you can either... If you try to save your mom, there's a 70% chance that you'll, you'll fail. Yeah. And there's a 50% chance that you'll fail and you'll die. Right. Right? And it was like, is you know, the different intervals for each one to see like, at what point were people, you know, be like, I wouldn't try or whatever. Yeah. Um... A lot of people in my cat class gave me dirty looks because I didn't put down anything for anything except for, like, for the, for the mom one. They gave me, like, weird looks because I was like, I didn't put anything and I was like, well, one, 70%, there's a 70% chance that she's going to die anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's really high. And then the, you know, and then a 50% chance that I'll die as well, right? So that means I can try and I can fail, and then I would have to live with the burden that I couldn't save my mom. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a heavy burden. But then to be like, but then like, I feel like my mom would be like, 
would do something like, no, like, forget about me, save yourself. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, in that case, yeah, like, in that, like, would you go on without your mom? And she was like, it's like, yeah, like, it's 70% chance, 70% chance that your mom's gonna die, 50% chance that you're both gonna die. She goes, she says, go on without me. Are you still trying to save her? Or are you gonna, you know, her last request and go on without her? It's a, it's a hard topic. It's a That's why I said, I, I was like, one, I've never been in that situation. I feel like I'm never going to be in that situation, so I don't know how I would act in that moment. Yeah, I doubt any of us. I mean, they have to push. And then they were like, oh, who would you save? The homeless person or your dog? And I was like, my dog. And they were like, why? But that's a human. And I was like, I was like yeah, but it's a homeless person. But to me, like, dogs' lives are precious. Like, I like dogs more than people. Well, yeah, but you also gotta consider that it's a human and people. a human that's not contributing to society. I feel well, we're crossing onto some uh, some. Uh, I'm not saying like oh we'll kill a homeless person. Some deep topics here. I'm not saying anything like that, <laughs> but I feel like I don't know. Like I'm everything to my dog. I'm nothing to that homeless man. Yeah, but you gotta, like my dog cares about me more than it's a homeless. like humans. Human life out outweighs a dog, though. I mean. Well, you hate people. Like, <laughs> I know that's the thing. I don't like people. That's the that's that's the thing. There no cooker vibe here either. Nah. Like that's the whole thing. I don't like people that much. Like when I went, what the? <laughs> you got back up and started running again. Wave five. Nah, we're redoing this. Well, one. Right, I know I can. Do, I know I can do better than this one. All right, and we're back. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, um, uh, the place that I went to today, you know, I've never been there before, right? And, you know, there's a bunch of people in there and stuff like that, and I see you guys all the time. Like, I have, so I have social anxiety, all right? When I'm in a new setting, unfamiliar with my settings, anything, I have, like, I have panic, I have panic, I have panic attacks. Not gonna lie, I have panic attacks. Anything close to a party, <laughs> anything even close to a party that's not a cookout, I have panic attacks. Cookouts are fine. Don't know why. The food, that comfort food. No, even so, if there's food at a party, I do not care. If it's anything close to a party, I have a panic attack. Can't do it. Award ceremonies for the most part, panic attack. Can't do it. But anyway, um, they was like, "Oh, how are you doing today?" And I was like, "Do you want me to just lie to you and say that I'm doing okay?" And she was like, no, how you doing today? And I was like, well, to be honest, I'm having a little bit of a panic attack. I'm nervous. I have social anxiety. <laughs> she kind of just looked at me. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine, though. Want me to I can pretend like I'm fine. And she was like, uh. <laughs> I was like, uh. And then I went, yeah, I'll, I'll just pretend I'm fine. How are you doing today, dear? And then I, I just did the rest of the I don't think like I that. get panic attacks, but I'm, I'm not open. In a new setting, no, like, I have panic I, attacks. My heart starts racing. I get, I get, I sweat. I'll just like, I'll just kind of stand around. Like, if it's a new setting and I don't know anyone, I'll just kind of like be off to the side, like until I warm up to the situation. I might, I might not even warm up to the situation. I don't know, cause like, all right, so it's always been, normally it's been like when we were younger, right? I used to just fake it. Like, I, I, I would fake it all the time, but you fake, didn't. I would, I would just sit there. You didn't. So I would always tell people, I'm like, yeah, Mike is kind of socially awkward, which is true. Right. But people didn't think <laughs> I was socially awkward because I would always fake it. You were pretty outgoing, it seemed. Is that <laughs> it seemed? Seemed. Mm -hmm. Seemed. But I was faking it. And then when I got older, I was like, yeah, I don't have the energy to do this shit anymore. <laughs> so I just don't. But, like, at a restaurant, it's fine. Like, we went out for Xavier's birthday, and, like, we were talking or whatever, and the waitress came around, and we were in the middle of a conversation, so, like, she got everybody's drink order, but she forgot to get mine, because, like, we were talking. Like, you know, everybody was talking, we were talking to the waitress and stuff, and she just forgot to get mine. So she was like, she came back, she was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I didn't get your drink order, and I was like, and I was like, yeah, I noticed that, but I think it's because we were talking, but that's all right. She was like, all right, so what you want, what, what would you like? And I went, you have any flavored lemonade? <laughs> <laughs> but the only reason I do that at restaurants is because we work at a restaurant. Yeah, and pretty... it's boring as fuck. Yeah. It's boring. So 
It's not the greatest. Not it, it, it's, it's boring. So like getting puts, a, puts bread on the table. Yeah, and like like getting boring tables is like one of the worst things. But then going to a table where like they're like dicking around, not being bad customers or whatever, but they're just like dicking around. Yeah, like you seem so like you can yeah you can like contribute more to them like yeah to the conversation. And, Plus, guys, if you're funny at your table, they come back more, so you can get more refills and shit like that. Trust me. Um, but yeah, so, you know, just, like, making a laugh and shit like that. But I do that at a restaurant, too. It's like, yeah. And then sometimes, even though I'm socially awkward, sometimes I put that aside. Because even though I hate people, and Some I hate... people are just... I hate kids more than I hate people. I enjoy kids. I hate kids. Not in a weird way. I... I think kids are cool. What? What? You okay. Like, why don't you weird. like kids? I don't. I hate kids. I can't. I can't fucking stand them. Come on, man. I you can't, can't be saying this on YouTube. I can't. I can't stand kids, though. Right? Kids are gonna be watching this. That'll be okay. I can't stand kids. Um. Well, no, no, no. Like, like younger kids. Like once they hit like twelve, and they're out of that like. All right. I'm gonna say twelve. Let's not give it a number. Once they're out of that ask a bunch of dumb questions, know it all phase, you know what I'm talking about? That 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 phase. Once they're out of that phase, they're fine. You know what I'm saying? And after that, they're just weird. I just think teenagers. I think teenagers are weird. It, I just think they're weird. Um. But uh, when we went to go get our tree and stuff, um, it's, it's Christmas time for us. Um, when we went to go get our tree and stuff. We walked down an aisle. And there are two kids just sitting on the floor. <laughs> so, Tia comes around the corner, she's like, and I, was, and I come around the corner, she was like, where the fuck is their mom? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. So, like, we just kind of hung around. Because, you know, like, you know, and two kids like, chilling. So, I'm kinda, so like, um, they're where the tree toppers are. We're trying to get a tree topper. So, like, these are the two saddest looking kids I've ever seen in my life. Like, they're just sitting on the floor like this. Like, in their jacket, just sitting next to a cart. And, like, I hate people, and I don't like kids, but I felt so bad. I felt so bad, but then, I'm also a big black guy. You know what I'm saying? So, like... <laughs> don't do that! I'm also a big black guy. So, a lot of kids are afraid of me. Because I always look angry anyway. So, like, we're sitting there, and we're, like, looking at the tree toppers or anyway. So, I'm just like... So, I look over, and I'm like... Hey guys, we need a tree topper. Which one should we get? And then like, they just look at you. The little girl looked. She was like younger, and I don't think she knew English that well. Uh, so like, she just kind of looked at us, and then the little boy. He, <laughs> I think my computer just had an aneurysm. Um, and like the little boy, I guess maybe it was one of those "don't talk to strangers" type thing. But like, why did I do this? But like, he looked, and then like he just shrugged his shoulders, and I was like. You know, I understand, you know, whatever. And I was like, all right, well, if you know, if you see one you like, just pick it out. You know what I'm saying? Help us out. So, like, she goes off to get wrapping paper, and I'm still standing there looking at the things. And, like, he goes over to one and, like, picks it up, and then just, like, puts it back down. And I'm like, all right, that's a sign. Is this the one? So he Are you that, telling me? And that's what I said. I went, is that the one? You want to get that one? We're getting that one? And then, like, he just started smiling, so we picked that one up. And then, uh, I guess, his, I don't know if they were sisters or whatever, but two girls walked around the corner. They started talking to him and stuff, and then I'm assuming their mom came around the corner, and they and they got up with her and then started walking away with her. <laughs> and I was just like, not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Oh shit! Oh god! Sorry, that interrupted my story. Not like this, not like this. Oh shit! No! No! <laughs> Fuck me! Yeah, they walked away, but so I had to put that social awkwardness aside because they were two sad-looking kids. Like, I don't like kids, but, you know, like, they didn't do anything to be sad. You know, because when I was a kid, I hated going shopping with my mom. Yeah, you just don't like being anywhere but home. Exactly. And I would just be like, oh, I'm fine with this. I mean, you do live, like, in the middle of the fucking forest, so, you're, you're, so your spawn rate probably comes out of nowhere. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm... Or not spawn rate, your spawn. I'm completely fine with this. So now, like, look, it tells you where it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember seeing that. Episode. Yeah, it tells you where it is. Fuck, 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 fuck. I got a motherfucking party wiener. Guys, I'm about to catch a party wiener. What? You don't know about party wiener? Motherfucking party wiener? Motherfucking punchy rock? 
Motherfucking almost a pair. <laughs> almost a pair. Fuck. Motherfucking Fuck. Uh, Fuck. cat with the long ass arms. Not like this. Not again. No. Oh. Woo. The cat with the long ass arms. Motherfucking uh, motherfucking floor shits. Motherfucking three floor shits. Hey, motherfucking shit. onion turtle. That's <laughs> <laughs> Bulbasaur. <laughs> I got it. Oh shit. <laughs> What else did you say? Uh, oh. Everybody knows. That's Big Dig B. <laughs> look at that big ass gold bat. Look at that, look at that big ass gold bat. Fuck a gold bat. These are a fucking bitch to hit though. They'll be so far away sometimes. Yeah, they'll be in like the beast. I feel like it's hard, it's hard, like, if I throw a normal, if I throw a normal ball, it's fine, but trying to hit this bitch with a curveball, it's hard to shit sometimes. I, I never used to do curveballs, now that's all I do. Oh, Fuck it's, it's easy to throw with one hand. Like, weird. This might be it. Oh, you can make it. Jump over him! Oh, no, no, woo! Boy. Okay, look, they changed that too. I have, I have two Gengar. Oh yes, we're doing this. Round eight, here we come! You guys didn't know, round eight is our our goal for round each Round eight match. is the goal. Okay, get off Pokemon. Sorry. Have, <laughs> have you seen any of the uh, Alola forms? Alola uh, forms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the um, ex Executor? Executor. His big ass neck or something? Dragon type, yeah. <laughs> Raichu. Fucking surfs on his tail. It's an electric and psychic type, and it rides on its tail like a surf. It's actually kind of dope. Uh, Meowth is ugly as fuck. It's purple with a big ass head. Like it's just purple, and the head is like thirty percent bigger. Uh, motherfucking uh, Vulpix uh -huh. and Nine Tails. They're they're white now, right? They're no longer fire types. They're ice types. That's what I'm talking about. If I were uh, to pick an element, in like. Real life, I would choose ice. Uh, Sand Slash and Sand Shrew, they're ice and steel type. Oh, shit, fuck. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Round eight. Round eight, though. We made it to round eight. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. First one. It took three tries on this one, but and I guess you know, but it was story time. But that's okay. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe oh, again. Uh, again, if you guys do the first room challenge, uh, sh uh, you know, send it to us. We'll give it a, you know, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. Probably not together, but we'll watch it That's eventually, it. maybe sometimes. Yeah. Um, but make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in next time because next time I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend to like children. You heard it here first, guys, and we'll see you <laughs> in the next video.